Hi, I'm Rick Paris, shopskishop.com. Now, what can the short skis do for you, and especially ski blades? Now, I'm talking about skis under 100 centimeters, the little skis that you know you see people zipping around on. They're not kids' skis, they're adult skis. Now, what can they do for you? And they work for two reasons. Uh, one is the, the length of the ski is short, so the length feels intuitive. Um, it does not feel intuitive to have you know one and a half meters, 1.75 meters on the end of your foot. And if you've got a long ski on your foot, you have to practice a lot with those skis to make you feel good, make you feel that they are part of your body. And if you don't practice hundreds and hundreds of hours, or you're not local to the slopes, um, or you're not super, super talented and local to the slopes, because nobody is a born skier. Yeah, you're born because you've spent a lot of time practicing that skill. So if you go once a year, once every two years, you're going to reach that level, and that's as far as you're going to go. You're not going to go any further. I don't care how talented you are. You might get a bit further because you're very brave, very silly, very stupid, or you just take more risk. But there'll be a limit to where you can go as a once a year skier. Um, and you will struggle. Most people know they're down here and they want to improve. So they want to go from here to here. How do they do that? Private lessons, maybe. I don't, I've rarely seen a private lesson work. Um, once you've reached there, that's kind of, that's kind of it really, you know, you messing around with the edges you need rapid improvement and you need it fast and you need it now because every ski holiday is costing you more money and you want to get the most out of your money don't you i'm sure you do um ski blades work for two reasons one as i say the length of it intuitive breeds confidence uh, because you have control control gives you more confidence more confidence gives you more confidence and round and round and round we go um, and the second thing is, is the side cut of the blade. Most blades between sort of five and seven meters maybe, which means you go from here to here in five to seven meters. And the bit in the middle, that bit, that chunk in the center where you're facing downhill, that's the bit that people struggle with. That's the bit they get to there and go, oh God, <coughs> oh God, <coughs> and they cut their corners their curves really fast they lose their balance they lose their shape they lose their rhythm they lose their confidence because they're not sure that ski is going to track and keep on tracking okay they're not sure so they do that and they go oh dear 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 oh, and they cut it short now ski blades with this short radius like this people can see and feel that ski turning so they have the confidence to let it go, let it run. And by letting it run, they realize the ski does track round and come back. And then they complete the second turn the same way. When they've got a, say, a 160 ski with a 14 meter radius, so that's roughly double the radius as of a blade. So instead of doing this and this, they're doing this with a great big chunk in the middle where they're facing downhill. And the steeper the slope, obviously, the more speed they're going to pick up because they're running more or less in a straight line. Um, and really what's going to happen then is they lose their confidence because they've got no control. They've got no control, so they lose their confidence. And round and round and round and round it goes till they haven't got any of either. And they don't want to go anymore. Um, so, yeah, you know, ski blades uh, are a fantastic tool. And a tool, tool is what they are. So if you can think about it, if you think about using the right tool for the right application uh, in any walk of life, using uh, you know the wrong tool to eat with, using the wrong tool to do any physical labor with, using a rake when you want to use a shovel, using a shovel when you want to use a trowel, these are all tools, but for the wrong application or for the wrong person, they are more or less pointless. They're, they're a waste of time. Somebody can build the most fantastic technology in a long ski. But unless you can get the technology out of that ski and use that technology to your advantage, pretty pointless inventing it because it's going to do you no good whatsoever. Absolutely no good. You know, if you're a seasonal, 
if you are an instructor, if you're an expert skier, if you're local to the slopes, if you've been skiing since you was five, you don't need ski blades. You, know, you might need them for a bit of fun one afternoon, but you don't need them as a necessity. You don't need them because it's make or break in your holiday. Now, you know, I, I've got a serious back problem, serious arthritis problem in my spine called ankylosing spondylitis. Look it up. Had it since I was 16, well over 40 years now. Since I switched to ski blades some 15, 16 years ago, I have skied the best in my entire life. Uh, there's no comparison to how I used to ski before. And I'm injured. I'm a, you know, a croc, if you like. I've got a dodgy spine riddled with arthritis. I'm stiff from the pelvis up to about here. I've got very little rotation. I can, that's as far around I can move my neck. That is it, okay? I'm riddled with it. Um, I'm, I'm on drugs to this day to control the arthritis, but I shouldn't be skiing. You know, I, that's it. I, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I thought that my skiing would end. Period. Finished. I was rubbish. Worse than I've ever been. Embarrassing. So, uh, saw a guy on blades. Got myself a pair. Never looked back. Started the business a year later. That's how much it impressed me. Um, I thought, hey, this is incredible. People have got to know about this. Um, so, you know, I'm a bit of an evangelist about it, I guess. I'm a bit of a kind of a born-again blader, if you like, because um, I'd skied for 25 years on long skis. was getting worse with my illness. Skiing once a year wasn't improving on that. Getting older, you're getting worse as you get older. Um, so with lack of practice, getting older and feeling terrible with my arthritis, um, yeah, I was a shadow of what I was when I was 21. Uh, but now, on blades and short skis, um, I'm three times a skier. I, I, you know, I'm unrecognisable as a skier I was in, in my, even when I was say 25. Unrecognisable. Uh, I've improved that much uh, because I'm in control. I know what I'm doing, and I've got confidence because I'm in control. I can tackle any run, be it green, blue, red, black. Um, there's no run that I've never come down and not been you know, pretty confident in coming down it and pretty happy to do so because I'm in control and I've got the confidence that my skis will get me down a run because I know they can do. Um, long skis, I'm terrified. Um, but yeah, it's the right tool for the right person. So if you're getting on in years, if you're frightened, if you've lost your confidence, if you've hit that plateau, if you've got a bit of an injury, whether it be a knee injury, back injury, or an illness like, like me, if there's a reason why you think you're not improving at the rate you want to improve, then ski blades could be the answer for you. And I've seen it countless times. Um, you know, running the business as we have done for the last uh, 15 years, we see all sorts of people. Generally speaking, and this is you know broad brush, don't uh, you know sort of pull me up over it, but this is from general experience I'll get an email from somebody usually a guy and he usually say hey my wife my, my missus my girlfriend partner is struggling she doesn't want to go away anymore she's had enough she's didn't enjoy the last trip and she said that's it finished not going anymore we've had private lessons we've had hypnotherapy yeah believe it or not hypnotherapy um, been to indoor coaching snow domes uh, you name it had it not seen one iota of improvement and um, you're my last hope I kind of read your blog seen seen you know bits you've written on online about it and you're my last hope what can you do Rick and uh, okay no pressure um, straight away I put them on a 99 blade I would mess around with a 120 125 130 they need rapid help serious rapid help um, I need confidence, control and confidence, the two things that they will need immediately. And they'll get that on a blade. Um, so yeah, they have a pair of blades, they go away, come back, they ring me up, say, hey Rick, things were fantastic, brilliant. Never went better, uh, you know, it couldn't have gone better. Uh, wonderful, we're even booking up again at Easter, something, you know, or we can't wait to book next year. Anyway, I'm super happy. Uh, 
I get a call or email a week or two later from somebody else saying, hey, he went away with Mr. Bloggs or whatever his name was last week and his wife, his partner was just amazing, it just transformed, a um, different person entirely. Um, I, know I, I struggle and before they were worse than I was but now I'm the worst of the group so I want to do something about it so what can I do? And again, I recommend a ski for them and go away, take it away and have a great experience with it. Then I might get one of the guys coming to me saying, hey, um, you know, I've always kind of been that level and I'm quite happy to ski that level. But having seen the missus come on leaps and bounds, I feel that maybe my kit's holding me back. Maybe my, my, my equipment's holding me back. So, you know, what can I do? Uh, you know, I may recommend a short ski for them, uh, 120, 130, or I may recommend them to go on a blade themselves. Because short skis and blades are a massive, massive improvement over long skis. And it's, again, I take it back, it's about the radius of the ski. Um, you know, I can put a, a bag of cement on a, a short ski blade and tip it on its edge and it will turn in a tight semicircle. The same on a long ski is a great big semicircle. And now if you don't have the technique to turn this big one to smaller arcs on steep runs, you're gonna struggle. You are gonna absolutely struggle. You have no control and your confidence will start to dip. And when your confidence dips, you start doubting yourself. And if the weather's bad, if the visibility is bad, it all makes the situation worse for you. So you're kind of fighting a losing battle. Um, so again, I've sold short skis to these guys that thought they were called reasonably good skiers. They get around, you know, they're not brilliant, but they're not bad. But a lot of that is a lot of that, a lot of what they're doing is um, kind of testosterone fueled. It's bravado. It's kind of they kind of. They're kind of bullying their way around the slope. They're kind of barreling their way, kind of forcing the issue. But they're not doing it with any great technique. They're using their kind of natural, kind of bullish experiences, their natural bullish kind of behavior, if you like, to to get themselves about the slopes. And, um, you know, they're not going to improve. They'll, they'll hit a certain standard, and they won't improve beyond that. Now, these little short blades, they are also race training at. Uh, race training aids for young downhill skiers because they don't go quite as fast. The one pro, sorry, the one negative on, on blades is that they go a little bit slower. We're not talking, you know, ice age is slow, but we're talking, you know, uh, a couple of seconds on a couple of hundred meter run. It'll be a couple of seconds slower because there's just less ski on the slope, therefore a little bit more friction, which means a little bit less um, less speed. Okay. So speed is associated with length of ski. Short ski, a little bit slower. Long ski, a little bit faster. And that's another reason why uh, you get more control because you get a fraction of a second longer to think about when you want to turn without it all rushing at you, okay? So again, it's the right tools for the right people. Um, ski blades are a fantastic tool for pretty much, you know, an awful lot of, of uh, UK based skiers because we just don't get the snow time. Uh, we simply don't get the hours of practice uh, to put, uh, to put, to make perfection. Um, you know, I don't know where you come from around here, but in the UK, but I come from around London, as you can probably tell from my accent. And the M25 is a bit of an intense motorway. Now, I'm used to the M25 motorway because I've lived around here all my life. It means nothing to me. But if I came from, I don't know, Cornwall or uh, the Lake District or Highlands of Scotland where there aren't motorways like this, I, I get on that motorway and I feel a little bit intimidated. The speed, the, the amount of traffic on there, it would just feel absolutely awful because, again, you're not used to it. I've spent hours and hours and hours of my life around the M25 and it's natural for me to feel and be in that hurly-burly. I feel in control. It's the same with your skiing or any sport, it's golf, table tennis, snooker, whatever it is. Unless you can put the hours in, you will only get so far. And Ski Blades is a tool that can get you further because it feels intuitive and you feel like you're in control for the first time 
and control gives you confidence. So I hope you decide to choose a set of ski blades because they will really help you. And um, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Thank you.